Hello and welcome. I'm Robin Holt and I'm one of the Kitchen Design Experts, the channel that tells you everything that you need to about kitchens, bedrooms and home offices. Now today we're going to be talking about the Neff Slide and Hide Oven. And is that the right oven for you? Hi. So first of all, what is a slide and hide oven? This, by the way, is not a slide and hide oven. This is conventional because the slide and hide refers to the door. And if you have a quick look at this video up here, you'll see exactly what a slide and hide door is and exactly what it does. Now then, I'm just going to be talking about that particular function today, not about how the oven performs, whether it's a good oven or a bad oven, that will be another video. This is purely about that facility to push the door away and whether or not it's right for you because you will pay a little bit extra to get that facility. So you do need to know. Now then, we have fit a lot of these ovens and we're asked for them many, many times. And I ask my clients when they ask me, what I say to them, what do you want this oven for? Why do you want the slide and hide door? And generally they say to me, ah, it's because I can stand right up to the oven. So I think, oh, okay, yeah, yeah, I can see that. But not many people use an oven like this. You've got to stand back to access the oven. So in my mind, that is not a valid reason. But there are valid reasons, and they may apply to you. Valid reason number one is if the oven is set at a height that is too high for you and that can be on there can be two reasons for that the first one is you've designed your kitchen with two single ovens on top of each other and to have the bottom oven at a height that's usable and not right on the floor it can mean that the top oven is too high for you ideally when you're accessing an oven you should be able to reach in with your arms parallel to the ground and not be touching the back of what is a hot oven door. So in the instance where there's one oven on top of the other, it's, it's a good idea to consider that slide and hide facility. The other time it can be considered from a height point of view is if you're buying a kitchen that is a mass produced kitchen, as opposed to a custom made kitchen. Uh, we will do a full video on that topic, so you don't have to worry about it too much, but basically in some of the off the shelf kitchens, the oven is a set, the, the aperture of the oven is a set height and depending on how tall you are it could be set at a height that is too high for you and again in that instance that sliding high door is going to be good for you the other time we use it from a design point of view is if through necessity we've actually put the oven in a walkway uh, a thoroughfare where people are coming in and out of the kitchen and it can happen sometimes it's nice then to have that security of being able, if somebody's walking past, to have no oven door there at all. So you can stand back and let them through without a hot oven door being in the way. It's a safety feature. So those are some instances that might apply to you where it would be beneficial to have the slide and hide door. So you might be thinking now, well, what's wrong with that? What was the problem? Uh, I do listen to my clients. I listen to positive feedback and I listen to negative feedback. And this is genuine feedback from genuine people. And the negative feedback that I get about this oven is, believe it or not, the fact that there is no oven door there, which is the whole principle of having the machine in the first place. Let me explain. Many times when you're cooking, uh, let's take a shepherd's pie for instance, which is one of my favourite dishes to cook. The way I cook my shepherd's pie, and I'm doing the meat, I, I don't let all the gravy, all the juice, uh, go away. I, when I'm cooking it, I, I only reduce it to a certain level. So there's still, it's still quite moist, the meat. It's not dried out. So when I come to put it in the oven to brown the potatoes or melt the cheese on top, sometimes that gravy can be dribbling over the edge of the bowl. So here's, here's one I made earlier. So as you can imagine, shepherd's pie, mashed potatoes, gravy dribbling down the edge. 
And it doesn't, it's not just shepherd's pie, it, you could put your bake, you could be cooking bacon in there, and the fat, when you turn the bacon over, goes all over the place. Sausages spit. So there's many instances when there's stuff dribbling or spitting or running off the thing that you're cooking. Now in a normal oven such as this, you've pulled your shepherd's pie out, any gravy that runs down runs onto the back of the door. If there's no door, it's on the floor. Or we're still on your feet. And that is what some people don't like about this oven. Have a look at the back of your existing oven door. No matter how fastidious you are about cleaning, I'll guarantee there are quite a few marks on the back of that door. And some of them, not all, but some of them, will have come from either gravy or fat that's dribbled down from the thing that's been in the oven. If that door wasn't there, that mess would be on the floor. Okay, so that's, to me, a major point and something that you should consider if you are thinking of buying this oven. Now then, when I say this to some of my clients, they come back to me and say, well, it's simple, you can solve that. When you pull something out of the oven on a shelf like that, you pull a solid shelf out underneath it. That's all well and good. But now both your hands are in use. You'd have to ask somebody now to come and take the pan off the top shelf. So I don't think that's a solution. So in my opinion, you have to weigh up the advantages and the disadvantages of this oven. And I've got to say that if the oven is being set at too high a height, that should have precedence. You'll have to put up with the fact you might have a dirty floor because you have to be able to access your oven safely and easily. There's at this stage something else I'd like to point out to you. Ovens can come, some come automatically and some they have them available as an accessory. It's something called a telescopic shelf. Now you might have noticed then, when I was pulling this normal shelf out, I was having to hold it, because it, you'll, be, you'll be aware of this, they, they wobble all over the place, and if you pull them out too far, they fall out. And that to me, that to me is a problem. Now a telescopic shelf, let me just show you what that is, is a shelf that pulls out and holds itself. So basically, you pull your food out of the oven, You've pulled the shelf out such as that, and as you can see, you don't have to hold anything. So if you wanted to tilt and baste a chicken, or if you wanted to lift the lid on a casserole and stir it, you can do that because you've got two hands free. And it'll take weight. And as you can see now, what is the point in this instance of having a slide and hide door? Because the thing you've pulled out of the oven is over the top of the door. You can't get any closer because of the, the, thing, the actual tray that's pulled out of the oven. So it completely negates the need for, in this instance, having a slide and hide oven. Okay. I hope that's been helpful. I know that I'm going to stir a hornet's nest now with all these slide and hide lovers, uh, people that absolutely adore the slide and hide oven. And there are, as I say, some valid, very valid reasons for having one. But I pointed out both sides of the argument there, and I'd like you to consider whether or not this facility on an oven is the right thing for you to have. Don't pay the extra if it isn't. Okay, that's the end of this particular video. I hope it's been informative. I hope it's helped you. If you've got any queries or comments, or if you want to lambast me for saying something about your slide and hide oven, please use the comments box below. We will answer you. And also, if you'd like to hear and see more content from us on the Kitchen Design Experts, please just hit the subscribe bell, and then you'll automatically be informed when another of our videos is coming out. It's been great to talk to you, and as I say, I hope you've got something out of it. And we'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye-bye.